Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a collaboration with Leslie Logan of Profitable Pilates, and today we have a morning mat workout. We've been doing a lot of tutorial collaborations, and so we haven't done a workout in a while. Um, it is literally early in the morning, and I have just done a little bit of my foot corrector exercises, um, as well as my two by four exercises as a little precursor to the mat workout I'm going to do now. And I will link my video with the foot corrector exercises in the description box below. And I don't think I have a video of the two by four exercises. So if that's something you'd like to see, please leave me a comment. Let me know about it. Um, I am very much of the mindset that I like to visit all of my mat exercises if possible, whenever I can. And I find the morning to be a particularly challenging place to visit the exercises, but I like to see how I'm going to do. So if these exercises, some of them might not be for you in the morning, that's perfectly fine. Feel free to leave them out, but I'm going to try to visit all of them. And I've been focusing lately on trying to find even more deepness in the low, low center, the low, low stomach. And so that's going to be a little bit of my focus um, for my workout. And I visited that already in the foot corrector exercises. That's really a help to me. Um, and now I'm just chatting with you. I'm procrastinating, so I'm going to get started. Join me standing. Stand tall, lift your elbows, lift your waistline, cross one foot over, push into the floor, lift the center, pull the stomach up. Really prevent yourself from collapsing. Lie all the way down. This is the best part of the workout. Just commune with the mat for a moment. Pull the low center in. Try to unkink yourself and stretch everything long out on the mat. And then you're gonna bring everything up to the hundred and begin. Breathe in for five pumps and out for five pumps. Two, three, Four, five, nice vigorous morning pumping, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and then stretch everything back out on the mat. Oh, that is the best part of the hundred. Sit up, grab the strap for your feet if you've got one. Lie back and grab a pole. Five of the roll up. Pull the legs together and scoop the low belly in. Arms up, lift the center. I do like to keep a vigorous pace. It is morning. I do have to work soon. So I want to make sure I can get all of my exercises in in about a half hour. After five, lose the pole. Reach your arms by your side or if you handles, if you have them, and then the roll over. It's not necessary that your feet touch the floor. You just want to lift with control. We're going to do three in each direction. One more. And then you'll get the strap again for the one leg circle. Take a moment to reach everything where it's going and suck the belly in. Five in each direction. Make sure your circle has a nice tempo. It's not whipping around. And then we'll go the other way. And make sure everything that's not your circling leg is working like crazy. That's really the hard part of this exercise. Pull the stomach in. And then make everything stay nice and solid as you're circling that leg. And then five the other way. Oh, this exercise is so hard. <laughs> One more. And then challenge yourself to come right up, grab your ankles and balance. Pull your center in, and then five rolling like a ball. Make this feel nice. And 
and then use control five of each of these exercises. Two, 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 three, three, four, four, five, five. Both legs in for double leg pull. Pull it in. Exhale, fold it up. Suck in the stomach. Just two more. Pull your stomach in, stretch your legs up, scissors. Five sets. Really suck in as you switch the leg. That's really where everything wants to fall apart. Two more sets. Hold your head up. Pull the stomach in deeper as your legs go away. Just five. Can't talk. <laughs> Three slow crisscross. Pull the center in as you twist. One more each way. Oh, woo, you made it. Sit up, five spine stretch. Kind of feel like you have a magic circle between the legs. So it really helps you suck in and up. And just one more. Use your scoop, roll back, suck in and reach your legs up, pull in, 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 reach your hands to your ankles, lift the bottom, we're gonna do five. One more time. And then we'll slowly bring the legs together. Slowly open them. Suck in the belly. One more time. Keep the belly sucked in. Reach your heels away from you. Lift up your back and grab onto your toes if you can. If this already feels crazy, just balance. If you can rock back and forth, let's do three. Squeeze the legs together. One more. Balance, lie back, transition to your corkscrew. And then whichever corkscrew you do, we're gonna do is three sets of it. I'm gonna do one where I lift my hips, but you can keep the hips down if you like. Squeeze the legs together, no whipping around. really count. I think that was three. Let's do three sets of the saw. Squeeze the legs toward each other as though you had a magic, magic circle. And stretch. Up. Keep the legs hugging together so that as you twist, you don't shift over to one side. You stay really planted firmly on both hips. One more to the left. <clears throat> Bring the legs together, turn onto the stomach for the swan. Use your handles if you have them. Pull your stomach in and reach your toes way behind you. Sneak your chest forward. Lift up your waistline and lift your chest. We're gonna do three. If you'd like to dive after three, feel free. Up. 
I'm going to dive three times. And then round my back. Woo! Single leg kick. Let's do five sets. Leave your hips on the mat, suck the belly in and up. And feel like you're going to stay really lifted no matter what happens back there as you're kicking. I think one more set after this one. And then three sets of double leg kick. Keep your body really still as you're doing those kicks. One more each way. And then take a counter stretch. Oh, suck the belly in. Give yourself a nice counter stretch. Hmm. And then come up onto the knees. Let's do the thigh stretch. Pull the inner thighs all the way together toward the low belly. So the inner thighs are apart, but you're imagining that they're coming together. One more, I think, makes five. This is sort of an endless exercise. Not my fave. <laughs> and then lose the pole. Turn onto your back. Use a strap if you've got one. And let's do the neck pole. Five times. Five's kind of the magic number. Lengthen yourself all out like you were before the hundred. And here we go. the belly away from the strap. <clears throat> oh, my hair is a train wreck. <laughs> Trying to get the perfect Pilates hairstyle for long hair. I don't like to have to fuss with it during the workout. Any tips for a long haired workout? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna deal with my hair a little bit later. Let's go to the high scissors and the high bicycle. Now scoop in so you're defying gravity with your lift. I'm gonna do three sets of scissors and then three sets of the bicycle. And not too slow up here, otherwise it's sort of endless. And then scoop in like crazy, lengthen yourself long as you come down in this transition. Whew. And just as quiet a plop as you can. Suck the belly in again, three, lifting of the leg. And then be nice to yourself and your back as you roll down after that. Really scoop the belly in. And then sit up for the spine twist. Three sets. And really exhale and lift yourself and lengthen through the back of you and your heels. Maybe you'll get a little more twist. Take a big breath in, blow it all out. And lift and reach and lift and reach. Oh.
One more set. Lie back for the jackknife. Five jackknife. So really deepen your center in as you reach up with the leg and deepen it more all the way down. Two more. So now let's do the side kicks. I'm going to face away first. I'm going to use the right leg as my working leg. And I'll do five front back, five up down, and five circles in each direction. Line up everything on the back edge of the mat. Feet forward toward a little box or the front edge of your mat. And then really stand on the bottom leg. Pull the waistline in. If you've done your foot corrector, you can imagine that as you stand on that bottom leg, like it's got a foot corrector, you can suck the belly in more. One more. Same here. And then turn onto your stomach. Let's go to the other side. Same thing. Five front back, five up down, five circles in each direction. Pretend like you're standing on that foot corrector. And then five circles. And five in the reverse direction. One more. Whew. Okay. And then lie on your mat. Take a wipe if you need to. Center yourself top to bottom as well as side to side. Just as you were before the 100, we're gonna do a few teasers. I know you really just have to do three of whatever teaser that you like. I'm gonna do a few more. Join me if you'd like to. I'm gonna bring everything up. And then leave my legs in the air for teaser one. This time, come up. Reach to your toes, teaser two. Everything down. Let's do two more, teaser three. Suck the belly in. So now we'll come up for one last teaser and we'll change to the hip circles. If you did teaser two, hip circles is really just fancy teaser two, so don't be scared. Oh. Reach your hands anywhere behind you. They should be straight, even if they're not on the mat. One more each way. And then arrive like nothing happened and lie back down in your teaser. 
Nice, lie onto your stomach. Let's do a little bit of the swimming. Pull your center in, reach your toes away from you, come up to your swan shape, and then try to keep your lift, like your shape is really tall to the ceiling, and sweat. And round your back, take a counter stretch. And then we've arrived at my my favorite part, I'm lying, this is the part I don't like. So I'm gonna take a quick moment to fix the hair. This is the part I don't like to have to deal with. So yes, any long haired workout tips, I'm interested. Okay, <laughs> enough procrastinating. Let's go to the leg pull. Stand on your feet, suck the stomach in. Five sets, push down, pull up, together. You try to feel like when your heel goes down, your waistline should go up, just like you were standing. Just like you were doing the footwork, lying on the reformer, lowering and lifting your heels. I think one more. I always lose track of this one. Take one foot over, take one hand over. Keep your bottom working and in the air. So when you get to this one, you can alternate three times up and down. And then let's face, let's use the left leg working, whichever side side kick deal you do is perfectly fine with me. Three times front back. Three bicycle. Reverse. Again, pretty brisk with this one. You don't want it to go on forever. Woo! Three circles. Come back to the center. Take a little pause. Let's go. Stretch when you get to this position. Suck the belly in and up. Three front back. Three bicycle. This is a little bit of my bumpy side. <laughs> my bicycle is not so great. <laughs> and then reverse. Whew. And then three little circles. Come back to the center. Whew. Have a seat on that opposite hip. And I'm gonna put my top foot in front and my bottom foot in back. Um, this is the side bend. You can also have them stacked if you like more challenge. I like to have both sides working at the same time. When I put them together, they don't do that often. So that's why I have them apart. And then push like you're standing on your feet so you can lift your center up and side bend. Lift and push on your feet to sit. We're gonna do two more. One more. Push, scoop, stretch. Swing your legs to the other side. Top leg in front, bottom leg in back. Push and lift the center. Push the feet and lift to sit. One more. Woo! Yes! Now we're back to rolling. All the horrible exercises are past. <laughs> five boomerang, five seal. If you do the crab, five crab. Keep it moving. Whichever boomerang you do is perfectly fine. If you're doing a different one than I am. One more. Assume the seal. Balance, clap, clap, clap. Balance, clap, clap, clap. Two more. Change to the crab. Lift yourself over gently on your head. Pull up your center away from your feet. Roll back. 
Crab yourself. <laughs> so it's the same lift from seal. You're just doing something different back there. One more time. Turn onto your stomach for rocking. Almost there. Again, we'll stretch your body out long first. Pull your center in. So when you get to this thigh stretch moment, it's not yet a back bend. You're gonna stretch the thigh, pulling the stomach in, and then you're gonna push your feet into your hands and lift the center up. And then do two more like that. Center in. One more. And then rock. Come down, counter stretch. Nice, good, ooh, deep counter stretch. Mm. So now, control balance, three sets, pull your center in, stand on the ceiling with one foot, and be sure to lift up the back and the center so when you switch your legs, it doesn't topple you over. Last set. Roll down, come up to standing. Turn around. Let's do five sets, one push up each time. Push onto the floor, pull the center in. Stand on your feet and walk four steps out. One push up. Push on the floor, pull your center up. Walk four steps back to your feet. If this feels nice and stretchy, you know, you could linger a little bit. Push on the floor, lift the center, roll up. Arms come around. As you push on the floor again, lift the center in and up. The low, low belly, like you used to close the carriage in the elephant on the reformer. One push up. Pull the stomach in. Walk four steps back. Push on the floor and lift the center. Arms come around. This is the third one. One push up. Pull up. One, uh, sorry, two more. <laughs> do five, no matter what I do. Just do five. Four steps back, push on the floor, lift the center. One more set. Push on the floor, lift the center, roll up. Stand tall. And thank you so much for joining me this morning. Really nice job on your workout, especially if you're doing this early as well. Good for you. And I'll leave some goodies in the comment box below, in the description box below. It's hard to talk after Pilates. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, video collabs, video workouts, do click the subscribe button, use the bell icon so you never miss a video when I upload, and have a great day. Bye. Down and the lift of the upper body opposing the reach of the lower body. And then I feel like there's really a nice true thigh stretch, which I desperately need. <laughs>